Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on getting started with order time. When you first log into order time, you're probably wondering, well, what do I do next? Where do I go? Where do I really get started here? In this video tutorial, we will go over how to get started with order time. When you log in, you will be on the main homepage. The main menu is what's used to access the home, sales, purchasing, production, warehouse, and report pages. You can get started on that home screen by adding different events. Notice that on the top right hand corner, you're going to find different views for your calendar. At first, you might not see too much on there until you start adding events. So you can switch between a daily, a weekly, or a monthly view and add your events here. In addition to events, down on the bottom section, you'll also be able to add some tasks. This could be for you or for anyone on your team. As you start adding events and tasks, you will then notice that you will see those on the home screen and it won't look as empty as it did when you first started using order time. The next thing you want to get started with is your company settings. Next to your company name on the top right hand corner, you will find the gear icon where you can click and it will take you into the company settings. Under the admin settings, you're going to find three different sections, general, settings, and users and roles. You want to start off by going into the general section into accounting integration. This will allow you to manage the accounting integration, whether it's going to be QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online. Next, go into your e-commerce integration. Here, you can manage any e-commerce solutions you're going to be using with order time. Once your accounting and e-commerce integrations are set up, you want to go into the profile list. Under the profile list, you're going to find another three sections, general, sales, and shipping. You want to start taking a look at item groups, unit of measures, terms that you'll be using, shipping methods, sales reps, and price levels. These are really important things for you to start setting up in order to get started with order time. Back under the admin settings, you can go under the settings sections into the company info. Here, you can edit any company information as needed and add your logo. After saving your company info, you'll be back here under the admin settings. In that settings section, again, you want to go over your page layouts, your email templates, and your form templates that you'll be using throughout the system. Next, we will go under the users and roles section. Here, we're going to start setting up some roles. As you can see, I have an admin, a GM, a sales rep. You want to set up all of your roles here. Then, go back to the admin settings and set up your users. When you're setting up your users, you will notice that you will be assigning those roles that you've set up to your users. You'll find a drop down where you can select the role. If you're a new order time user, you want to go ahead and start using the import under the general section to start importing in any items, customers, or vendors that you need to have in order time. Once you're done with the company settings, you can start navigating through order time. On the left hand side, you will find a small arrow that will open up the side menu for you. Here, you can open a list. For example, you can view your list of customers, items, or vendors. You can also view the most recently accessed records. Or you can create a new record, such as an item, a customer, a vendor, a lead. Remember that if at any moment you need some additional help, on the top right hand corner you can click on the knowledge base icon. Here you will be able to find great articles that will help you with starting with order time. 